the Little Rock, Arkansas High School that made history nearly 66 years ago when the Little Rock Nine integrated its classrooms is now fighting efforts to whitewash history. Little Rock Central High School is one of six schools in the state sticking with its plans to offer AP African American studies despite the state education department warning the class might not count toward graduation requirements. That's because it is unclear if the course violates. A new state law signed by Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders banning the teaching of what they call critical race theory. The class will include the impact that those nine brave black students had on the civil rights movement. Surviving members of the Little Rock Nine say the state is launching a broader attack on black history. And joining us now is NBC News national reporter Bracey Harris. Bracey, thanks for joining us. You've been speaking with those surviving members of Little Rock Nine. Uh, explain their reaction to this and how this dis dispute has evolved. I would describe the reaction that I've heard from survivor member, surviving members that I've been able to get um, in touch with is really one of alarm. Um, Elizabeth Eckford, uh, without hesitation, when I asked her for her response to these developments, you know, described it uh, as part of an attempt to erase history that's uh, working for the Republican Party. Um, Terrence Roberts, another member, uh, questioned why the AP African American Studies uh, course seems to be being singled out for this this treatment of potentially not uh, counting towards graduation requirements. So um, overall, there was just really an overarching um, expression of concern from from those I connected with. And what is the Little Rock School District saying about this decision to offer the course? Are they expecting, you know, fallout? Like, how do they fight it? Fight the governor's so, decisions? So at this point, um, I haven't heard a, a direct concern for from representatives of the school district about uh, the fallout that might um, incur from, from going forward. Um, but really what's just been reiterated is that they have a commitment to um, going forward with this course. They're also going to make sure that uh, students are able to take the AP um, exam and have those fees covered. Uh, because one part of the fallout from this as well with the state is that uh, the state's not, um, from the understanding as uh, districts have it now, the state's not expected to pick up the tab for covering those AP costs, which could be a de deterrent depending on um, a student's socioeconomic background. So not only is the district going forward with offering the course, but they're also saying they're committed to there won't be barriers to them potentially receiving college credit um, if those fees need to be covered. And has, has Governor Huckabee Sanders explained why this curriculum does not meet state standards? I did uh, reach out to a spokesperson uh, with her administration um, for our reporting. I have not yet heard back. Um, she did have an appearance on Fox News where she was asked about this course um, and in her remarks uh, referenced, uh, you know, leftist propaganda. Um, we're still, you know, monitoring for developments and seeing if any more um, concrete concerns are, are outlined. But um, as of this point, we had not heard a response from her administration to our request for comment. I've seen other uh, nationally recognized educators, uh, professors of black history, uh, expressing concerns about how this is all, you know, starting in Florida and now elsewhere, Texas, uh, with some noteworthy examples of similar, similar restrictions that it was covering last year and this year as well. So this is a trend, and it's these cultural issues are becoming part of the 2024 election campaign. This is definitely um, something that we're seeing in several states across the country, these restrictions on how race can be taught um, 
and uh, discussed in classrooms. And I think one of the, the interesting um, things that came up in the conversation um, I had with Terrence Roberts, who is also a surviving member of the Little Rock Nine, is he's, you know, sort of watched uh, the sweep of legislation, of um, so-called CRT bans happening. And he, he said in his viewpoint, he, he called it ridiculous, but something he also expressed express a concern about is what is the ultimate, you know, impact on students if they feel that their teachers or, or principals are on edge because they have these concerns of, of running afoul of, on these bands. So um, it's definitely something to keep uh, watching what the impact is in the classroom um, um, as we go into the 2024 election and, and beyond.